Hey, this is Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to briefly talk about how to teach Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. Um, specifically, I'm talking about how to teach the game, not how to play the game. If you want to learn how to play the game, there are plenty of videos about how to play the rules, including a great video from Watch It Played. So there are a few steps that I use when I am teaching Libertalia Winds of Gilchrist. The first thing is that I set up the game first. I think this is pretty important in Libertalia Winds of Gilchrist, in particular because a key part of the learning curve of the game is going over your original hand of cards. And so each player at the beginning of the game has a hand of six cards. Uh, they're not necessarily number one through six at all. They are randomly determined by one player, and then all players have the same six, hand of, six cards in hand. But at the beginning of the game, it can be a little daunting to look over your hand of cards and start to figure it out. And so the earlier you can get each player their starting hand of six cards and let them see also what's going on on the table, like the initial uh, reputation track order and the, uh, the loot tiles that are going to be on days one through four for the first voyage, the sooner you can get that out there for players to start looking at and thinking about, even though that you haven't explained anything, the better. So first set up the game. That's step one. Step two play a sample turn. So have each player randomly choose a card from their hand at this, and show that, tell them that in, in the game, it's not, it won't actually be random, but uh, for the sample turn, have them randomly choose a card, reveal it, and order them as you do on the track in Libertalia, and then show players how daytime works, how you activate daytime abilities from left to right, and then show them how dusk works, where you activate uh, dusk abilities from right to left. And even if there isn't a dusk ability on a character, the characters from right to left, the highest rank to the lowest rank, choose at that point a loot token from the current day. So show them how that works. And then show them what nighttime look, looks like. Um, I was hoping that in the first six cards there is a nighttime ability, but there isn't. Um, at night, you have, for any character that's on your ship at night, those abilities trigger every night if that character is still on your ship. And so you can show players what that looks like as well. So you're showing the players basically a sample turn about how that works. During that process, you'll also want to do, this is step three, explain how the loot abilities work. In Libertalia Winds of Galecrest, the loot abilities are printed on the board itself. So if you're playing in stormy mode, which would be my recommendation for a teaching game, should have mentioned that up front. If you're I'm sorry, I said stormy. If you're playing in calm mode, I'd recommend calm mode for uh, the first game for most players. Um, the, the loot abilities are printed on the board itself. Um, so you can go through them one by one and explain how the different loot tokens work. Uh, and I, you can tell players that they don't need to remember any of this because it is printed on the board. And while you're doing that, if there are any new players that are upside down from these abilities, you can go ahead and just give them the corresponding loot tiles. They can put the loot tiles right in front of them so they can see these abilities face up. It allows for players from across the table to easily see what the different loot definitions are for this current game. That's step three. And then finally, step four, again, referencing the board because we included it at the bottom of the board here, I would recommend going through the end of void steps and then the begin the before each void steps. The, the importance for this is because you're explaining the last ability type, the anchor abilities. Um, and you are crucially explaining that at the end of each voyage, each round, players are going to discard all of the loot tiles that they have, all the loot tokens that they have, and all characters in their ships, but that they get to keep the characters that are in their hands, and that they will then gain a new set of six characters. So I think that's really important for players to know up front before they start the game, that they are going to be playing some characters, but not all of them most likely, and that they're going to be able to keep those that they don't play and then get some new characters. And that's it. Oh, and also, I guess most importantly is you need to let players know why they're playing. And the reason is they are pirates. They are trying to get uh, to be the wealthiest. They're trying to get the most doubloons, um, which are the tokens that you accumulate during the game and that you are tracking at the end of each round on these treasure chest dials. So let players know why they're playing the game. And that's it. That's how to teach Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. Again, this is not a rules video. Um, this is just uh, my method for teaching Libertalia Winds of Galecrest and getting the game in motion within around five minutes. This doesn't take that long. Setup might take a, a few minutes longer than that, but with setup and teaching, you can get players playing the game within around uh, five to ten minutes. Yeah, let me know if you have any other thoughts about how to teach Libertalia Winds of Galecrest. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.